and Lisa's organised it again and the table looks amazing and I can't wait because I'm starving so I'm not going to think of any trouble or anything like that with Danielle you know if she's going to be friendly I'll, I'll be delighted with that but you know if she wants to continue being a child she can do that I, you know I'm going to have fun tonight with the girls and that's my plan next weekend the lovely girl competition or was it the Miss lovely girl competition Miss Ireland yeah yeah but they not put on a nice pair of slacks once they get into the library and do a bit of study instead of taking I would just stop school. lots of them are actually in college there's loads oh, of I mean, them girls are all very I'm not saying I'm not saying they're not in college what I'm saying is like when you are in college why would you go but why not I think it's actually I think it's, it's a great way to we had it for dinner and things were okay but it started getting a little bit catty. So we were trying to break the ice and Roz was saying, well, Danielle, what would you like to do when you let your hair down? When did you let your hair down? <laughs> I have plenty crack all the time. Maybe you just don't get the one liners, I don't Obviously know. Obviously don't. No. We hear your whole schedule. We hear you're so busy. We hear that, you know, you do all this wonderful work, which we all do, by the way. We all have our own little bits and bobs going on. I felt like Roz was saying to me, something along the lines of you know um she was judging me for working so i said to roz oh shut up you don't even work and it wasn't a case of i'm judging her for not working i just felt roz was judging me for working when she doesn't even know what it is to work or more importantly to have to work but you don't work so you wouldn't know who well i do work i'm sorry i do work i have to combine that with obviously my clinical work, so I don't have the facility to take days off, so such is my life. As soon as she started insulting my friend Roz, who's a really good friend of my family as well, um, I, I said to myself, that's it. I, I had to say something. I had to stand up to her, and uh, I really don't regret it at all. No. Joe told me that you called me a knacker. I, I didn't criticize you at all, and I was very nice to you, and you were very What is a knacker, anyway? What is it? Define a knacker. What does it mean? I don't think that's a word that you're actually politically allowed to use, to be honest with you. I think that Joe was stirring things and I don't think she was necessarily doing it intentionally I think maybe Joe was looking for affirmation or confirmation and but landed me in it up to my fucking neck I just can't believe I actually got in the car and drove down for this I just think it's like so awkward I'd never be in a scenario where you're at a dinner table and even you know you can be in someone's company and well, maybe you not be comfortable about people then for no reason <coughs> maybe I didn't say anything maybe I was very nice well, to well, well Joe what do you say about it then Joe yeah, Just the next say. morning I woke up, I was Thank very upset and I rang Virginia, I said, Virginia, I was talking to Danielle, do I, we, we carry on like knackers. I didn't say that word, it's not a word I use, I don't use that word. If you gave me the wrong information, then I have to apologise to you, Danielle, but because Joe told me that you well, said Well, that's not a word I would me. use, Virginia, and to be honest, if I don't think to say Virginia, I'd say it to your face, if I did... At the table, I said, "Oh, Virginia, well, just maybe, my maybe hand, Joe so. told me the wrong. No, because I, no, I rang you I that day, and I, I didn't. I say to you, Joe, Virginia, you know what, what? I what you said to me about Danny? Yeah. I'm not messing. I cried and I got really yeah. upset. Well, Virginia, I, I you should ask me what baby. I said. So, Virginia, do you know what? I was actually Virginia, terrified to call you because I thought, what kind of woman me. speaks about another girl? Virginia, shut up. Just stop it, for God's sake. Do you know what? Don't tell me to shut up, Danny. Actually, you should fucking shut up. Just leave me alone. All right, Virginia, you should just relax. Honestly, I would never say a bad thing about you, and if I had anything to say, I'd say it to your face. It's not something I don't know. My mouth gets me in trouble. I'm so opinionated. I'm a very strong woman. I'm, you know, I, 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 I can't. I'm me. And also, the other thing as well is if people don't like me, that's cool too. I'm happy who I am. There's no reasoning with a person that's very unreasonable. So the person I went to was the person that I taught which was Virginia. Virginia wouldn't put me on the spot like that. Danielle did. I was indirectly being called a liar.